This time on Budget Project, I'll talk about the gloves that I wear while riding my bike. Yeah, I picked these gloves off off Amazon for about 10 bucks. There's like 5, 10, maybe even more different brands of these gloves. These are a very generic China style glove. Um, I've been wearing them for three weeks, almost daily, honestly. I like these gloves. Um, I, me, my only complaint about them is they don't cover any more of me. Some riding gloves I've seen, you know, go up halfway up your arm and, you know, it goes under your jacket, it goes over your jacket, I mean, and uh, velcros around. You have a nice, tight, protection protected arm if you fall or if you're just riding and you have all this wind blowing on you. You know, it's after a while, especially if it's chilly outside. With these gloves, I have like maybe a quarter inch gap between my jacket when I'm riding, sitting up. If I'm tucked, I'm okay. But if I'm sitting up and I have this little gap and the air gets underneath it if it's cold, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. Other than that, these gloves I love. They are a very nice thin mesh material, so good in the summer, good at riding when it's warm out. Maybe not the best when it, if you're riding it's kind of chilly out, but I have heated grips. Um, I have a video about how I installed them. If you want to install it, please watch the video. But with the heated grips, these gloves are great. I've never had any problems. I've ridden in like 50 degree weather, um, muggy out, you know, kind of wet. Gloves, heated grips, I'm good. They do have this little velcro thing, you know, they have a nice little tight fit. They have this knuckle protector and little protectors for each uh, finger. And this little pad right here for, you know, you're falling, you make little, you're probably going to make fists when you fall off a bike, at least when I fall off uh, my mountain bike, that's what happens. Um, I usually fall like this and I get scrapes down here. Thankfully there's a little pad. Now I've seen some people complain that these pads the adhesive, the glue that holds them, fails. So far, uh, that has not been an issue for me. Everything has a nice flush uh, seat. None of the glue has come off. Nothing's chipped. Nothing's torn. I have used these while doing some tune-ups on the bike. Um, so they're a little dirtier. They seem a little oily, but I don't have a problem with that. You know, sometimes you gotta fix your bike or whatever mid-ride stuff happens especially when you have a three-year-old bike like i do these are uh, mad bike gloves whatever that even means but all in all they cost between eight and fifteen bucks on amazon they're great gloves they're cheap you know uh, yeah you could buy some fifty dollar gloves and they'll offer more protection but all in all if you're new if you're not doing track racing if you're not doing 100 miles per hour everywhere i feel good I feel like this will save me, you know, and honestly, anyone tries to fight me, I feel good with this padding right here, not what it's meant for, but it'll save my knuckles in the fall, it'll save the bottom of my hand in the fall, it'll save my fingers in the fall, you know, and that's what riding gear is all about. It may not be the most comfortable, it may look kind of goofy and Mad Maxi, but it goes on real easy, I never have any problems with it, it keeps me warm, it keeps me cool, it's comfortable, that's the most important thing, they're very light gloves even though they have this big plastic protector on them. But yeah, I recommend them very much. Um, I'm gonna have a link in the description about where to pick them up. Like I said, eight to 15 bucks. Not a name brand, clearly. They're all the same. They may have different brands up there, but they all come from the same factory. Somewhere in China, Amazon Prime, two day shipping. It's an amazing thing. And yeah, if you guys like my videos, Please subscribe, comment, like, or share. And I'll see you guys next time.